Hey everyone, in today's video, I want to show you an easy way to style your form fields in Django. So here I have a model, and basically what I wanna do is I wanna create a model form based off of this model. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my app directory here where my model lives, and I'll create a file called forms.py. And I'm going to import a model form from Django Forms. So from Django.forms, import model form. Okay, and then I wanna create a form. So I have a model called member, so I'll call the form member form, and it's going to be a model form. And if you're familiar with model forms, you define a meta class inside of the form class. And then you have two fields that you have to use. One is model, which will be equal to the actual model. So from dot models import member. And then you have the fields. So in my case, I have two fields that I'm interested in. I have a name and membership number. Okay. So let's go ahead and display this first to show you the unstyled version. So if I go over to my views, I can import this form. So from dot forms, import member form. I'll instantiate the form member form, and then I'll just pass it over to the context and that will go into the template. So form form. And then inside the template here, I have uh, form tags with no fields. So I have a couple of fields that I need. I need uh, form dot name. And then I need uh, one for a membership number. So form membership number. Okay, so let's take a look at this. I'll refresh and we see I have the two fields here. So this is pretty ugly. This doesn't fit the styles of the page as a whole. This is uh, just a bootstrap page. So this should have like bigger form fields, but it doesn't. So the typical Django way of making changes to this is to do something like this. Let me show you in the forms.py file. We go here and then we define this dunder init here, self with args and keyword args. And this is just overriding the one that comes from model form. And what you would do if you wanted to style these in a certain way is you would update the widget. So first, let me use super because I am going to call the original. So just pass args and keyword args to the original. But the way to modify the form would be something like this. So I have um, self.fields name. So I have a field name and I want to update the widget attributes. And I can do that by saying dot widget dot attributes dot update. And then in here, I pass a dictionary with the things that I want to update. So in my case, I want to make this a form control. So this should be a string. So this is the typical class and bootstrap for a form. And now if I go back to the page and refresh, we see that the name field now has a styling on it. The membership number field doesn't have a styling because I haven't added anything yet but the name field does. So I could do this for all of the fields and all of my forms, but it's not the most straightforward way of doing it. Basically you're putting your styling information inside of the form itself, which doesn't seem appropriate. So what I'm showing you in this video is an alternate way of doing that. So let me go ahead and get rid of this and I'll stop my server and I'll install a new library called Django widget tweaks, so dashes between the words. Then once that is installed, I can go over to my settings.py. So I'll go to settings.py here, and I just need to add it to my installed apps. And what I'm adding is widget underscore tweaks. Okay. Once I add that, I can then go over to my template and then at the top of the template, I can load in a template tag. So load, and the name of the template tag is widget underscore tweaks, just like the app that I added. And now that I have this, I can use a tag called render field. So let's go down to name. So instead of just form.name, I'll have render underscore field as a tag, right? And inside of here, after the render field, I wanna put the form.name here. So whatever the field is, I'll put it here. And then, from this point on, I can add the attributes to the actual input that gets generated. 
So for example, if I wanted a placeholder, I can say placeholder equals name. If I want to extend the class, I can do class. And for the class, you can do plus equal. And it will just add it to any classes that already exist on the field that come from Django. And I want to add form control. So let's remove the name here. And let's refresh. And of course, I have to start my server again. So let me start my server. And now refresh. And now we see I have the name field here and we see the placeholder name. The other field is still the default style. So let me change that. Once again, I'm using the render field tag and then form membership number. We can say placeholder is going to be membership number and then the class form control. Okay. And then I can just go ahead and get rid of that one. Make sure I have a percent here at the end and I'll just refresh the page. And now we see both fields are styled appropriately. And all the styles or things that are visual for this form were defined inside of the template itself, not inside of the, the class for the form. So this library has examples of different things that you can do. So if you want to add like rows and columns to a text area, you can. If you want to add a type, you can. Um, and even if you wanted to add some binds for a view, you can do that as well. So take a look at the docs here. I'll put a link in the description below. And I think you'll find it pretty useful uh, when you're developing Django apps because it's, it's much easier to use than the original that I showed you. So that's all I want to show you for this quick video. Um, if you have any questions about how to use Django widget tweaks, feel free to leave a comment down below like always. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.